Welcome back to Fashion 360 and this is 360 Exclusive. On today's show, we have hip hop and music royalty with us, Dr. Sid. Welcome mm -hmm. to the show, brother. How I'm are you? I'm very happy to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yes. What's going on? You look I'm pretty chilling. nice. Yes, I'm trying. It's not supposed to I'm look trying. Nice. My new style is... I'm not saying it's not supposed to look nice. Dr. Sid, there's something Muna <laughs> does and she likes to... Victimize me on the show. And I, I said to you, I got on the show. Worry. I want us no, to be together. Right no, now. don't worry. We'll right? forget out. No, no, no. no. But you know me, you will go away. I know, yes. But but actually, yeah, see, but, you know, see, right there, she, right there, they got new a problem. Friends, no new friends. friends. No, no new friends. That was a hit record. New friends. No new Take friends. The new, one, new friends. <laughs> how, is, uh, how is our madame now? She's good. She's good. She's good. They're good. They're good. Just got back from Dubai. You know, she's chilling. All nice. All nice. Now, I can tell you love yourself. So much so, you named your daughter after you. No. Only with a Y though. You see, it's no, it's with a Y. It's with a Y. It's with a Y. Yeah, okay, with a y. okay. Mm -hmm. basically, mm -hmm. if Sydney, my daughter, was a boy, mm -hmm. it'd be okay to call her Sydney Junior. Right. Because, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. that's, that's like, that's like understandable. It's, yeah. You know, but Sydney happens to be a unisex name. Yes, so it is. It's only fitting that my first child would be Sydney Junior. Right. But don't you, do you have like a native name? Oh, yeah, she has. What's your, what's your name? My own? Yeah. Why now? Come on. It's on Wikipedia. People, people okay. don't what know. Is her, what is people her don't know. It's on Wikipedia. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's jump right into it. Yeah. Fashion sense, first of all. Yeah. Uh, you went through that phase of the hip-hop old school days where you wore baggy jeans, t-shirts, and hoodies and whatnot. And right now, it's all suits and uh, nice pants and nice shoes. Yeah. So take us through that transition. I think, you know, with, with fashion, it is... Um, it's important for every individual to reinvent himself. You know, mm -hmm. as Absolutely. time goes, I'm not gonna be rocking baggy jeans right now. I would look some people. Oh, some people. Mm -hmm. do. I first. I'm, I'm speaking OG. for myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, if I was rocking baggy jeans right now, I would look totally oh, off. Do you know what I mean? Days. And um, mm -hmm. I have a wife who's very, you know, heavy into her fashion. So mm -hmm. she's, you know, constantly scolding me like, "You gonna wear that? Really? <laughs> you know?" So. Um, you know, I, I try to keep up with the time. It's, it's not easy. You know, these young guys with all these, you know, six yeah, packs and bodies. Yeah, angry. Yeah. I'm telling you, you know. But um, you know, for me, I make, I, make, I, I try to keep keep it moving forward, stay fashion forward all the time. That's, oh yeah, that's, that's, awesome. that's pretty good. Also, something that has changed over the years is well, your haircut. Yes. Right sir. now, mm -hmm. you keep a high top fade. I think that's what they call it. Very, yeah. very nineties. Yeah. What had happened was, <laughs> see, I see, I noticed. That I'm losing a little bit of hair in the back. Oh. So uh -huh. I said before the hair goes, I'm gonna keep it as high as possible. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, but um, I don't know. I, I just think for me, it's all about really reinventing yourself and constantly, you know, changing up your appearance to, right. to okay. be comfortable. I'm comfortable with this right now. Okay. Tomorrow I might decide to shave it all off. I don't know. You okay. Know, so when you Either do come way, back I on the show, it, yeah. I would like to see. see as soon as I, when I change my boxers, I'll come on the show. I'm like tomorrow, I'll like, come on the show. Brand new boxers, fashion forward. I can't show you, but. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all right. People don't know that when you invest in music, it takes a long time. Oh, definitely. To manifest. <clears throat> I, I can tell you, anybody who's aspiring, I look at all three cameras, one, two, three. <laughs> anybody, anybody who's aspiring to be a record level executive, you right. have to understand, it is not, it's a long-term business. It's, it's not business. invest and get your money back in Immediately. three years. Right. I'm, I'm talking, we're talking five six seven years for you to actually see because it takes a lot especially if you're starting out with a new artist it takes right. enough time to build an artist to get an artist to the point where they're commanding performance fees right. and then you can now start to recoup but you, anyone you make you must reinvest back into the artist mm -hmm. so it's not a really not really a profit making business Up until, in short term yeah it's, short it's term. a long term which is why you have to have artists who are who have a certain level of loyalty and understanding of what it takes you know, right. to to get to that point where you start to give back to the label that is. You know, okay, know, so what happens when the artist doesn't really know what they're doing and the label doesn't know what they're doing? What do you get with that? Ah, I can't question is already outside the question. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause I'm not. laughs> no, no, no right. because somebody yeah. has to know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I but mean. It, we've you've seen these things happen over time with labels and they've signed people who do well for a period of time and then all of a sudden they expect funds to return and it doesn't return or somebody's ripping somebody off or like take for instance what's happening today with the our artists the run towns and the skills that what do you think about that well you see the thing is i can't really talk on those instances because mm -hmm. i don't have all the information right or all the cards on the table so i can't really say who did what or who said what's mm -hmm. supposed to happen i just will speak from my point of view which is from your being, experience right being with don jazzy and being with ld in the tribe mm -hmm. and don jazzy mohits and now in maven it's understanding that and being 
not just as a performing artist, but also being part of the, the executive process in terms of understanding how the budget works and how money comes out and how you shoot videos and how much you turn and percentages and all those kind of things. Understanding those numbers will make you realize that, look, these people are putting down a lot of money mm -hmm. to understand, to, to clothe you, to shoot your videos. And a label is going to look at numbers. Right. You know, artists will look at, oh, people are listening to my song, the song's blowing up. Well, the song is doing up, but you're not doing shows. And if you're not doing shows, there's no money coming, coming in. in. Yeah. And there's no money coming in. You want to release another single, and then we have to put money down for that video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so am I pulling money from my pure water business to come and, mm -hmm. you know, right. fund, fund your, 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 your music? So it's, it's, it's also from the label understanding that, look, this money is not going to come out. You have to put a lot into it to get it out. And it's from the artist to understand, also understanding that mm -hmm. these people have put a lot into it. Do you understand? I have to do my part as an artist to make sure that they're seeing their returns. Okay. Right. So that they are excited, or to even put to more put more, more money, money to right. a project. So yeah. it's 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 both ways. Oh yeah, that's very well said. Uh, speaking of your your last project, you have uh, international artist Alexandra Brook. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Are we expecting any more singles with international acts? Or? Um, I'm I'm open to me. I think music is international. Music is global. You know, it crosses borders. I'm not really. Um, dying for collaborations i think collaborations are great they open markets thing for both for yeah, both parties, both parties yeah. you know so but um i'm not actually saying oh, i must do a collaboration with an international right. artist you know what i mean people have recognized me because of my songs and if my song can travel cross borders you know what i mean so, mm -hmm. it'll cross borders if somebody listens to my song in america and says yo this Dr. Sid Cat is dope. I want to jump on it. I'm very happy to do that. But my main focus in terms of collaborations is more on the African continent. I think Africa as a continent needs to come together. We need to have more, you know, intercontinental, um, continental, yeah. continental co uh, collaborations, you know, right. East Africa, West Africa, South Africa, mm -hmm. even North Africa coming together yeah. Yeah. to make music. So the sound from Africa is actually amazing. And I think if we, if we come together, we can make it so loud and so beautiful that the world will hear and know that, you know, Africa is the next big thing when it comes to music. That's, mm -hmm. what, that's what I think needs to happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking to go to Tanzania, Zimbabwe, South Africa, you know, Angola, Uganda, Coast, um, Ghana, everywhere. Mean? Egypt safe. Come <laughs> out. It's <laughs> Egypt safe. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very good. Um, so last year you started in the movie, right? Yeah. The last three digits were yes. correct. Uh, and uh, is that something you plan on doing? I mean, acting? Because you were really good in it. Ha! You were really, really good. Just, thank I'm not trying to. Uh, thank you! Oh, yes, but you were good. Take my yes, oh, so. TMC! Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, my passion is entertainment in, yeah, in all in different, general, in all, in general yeah. different kinds mm -hmm. of forms. And acting is definitely something that I would love to do more of. You know, um, it's like trying to step into my dad's shoes. It, it kind of gives me that feeling when, I'm, when I was when I'm on set. Um, the last three was a good movie. We shot it about maybe three, four years ago. So, oh. you know, it's, it's awesome to see it finally come out. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely looking to do more movies. You have more on the way? Yes. Uh, well, not, 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 not at the moment. Um, I went to film school, so I'm currently working on making my own uh, movies. Um, I'm working on a short film right now. I'm stuck on the script. So <laughs> when I finish the script, we're going to start shooting. Uh, but I have an idea just to try and make, just add my own little quota to, to, to the movie industry in Nigeria because I think they're doing awesome work. Right. You know, the development of the growth is, is amazing. Nollywood is big worldwide, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, I would love to be part of that industry. <laughs> we have to let the pursuit go very soon. Yeah. Last yeah. but not least, what can we expect from you in the entertainment realm, everything else? Mm -hmm. Everything good? Yo, see ya. The best deal, the best deal. Mm -hmm. um, just a lot more music. I think I've, you know, I've taken time out to do a lot of things. I've yeah. got married, had a family, you know, family. That's, that's done. That's family's, on auto, family's on autopilot right now, you right. know what I'm saying? So let's let's get into it. Let's make that music that I always promised to, to make and to give people, you know, I'm just honored and blessed to my fans and they're still there and they're still rooting for Dr. C. Still growing with you. Know you. Know? So, yeah. wash out. There's more music. The best is out now. Mm -hmm. Flawless coming soon. Plenty more where that came from. I think it was acting. I think it was in character. Yes, right? you're supposed <laughs> to say get your copy now after that. Get mm. your copy now. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your social media handles, please just let it out there. Um, I am Dr. Sid everywhere, which is I am D R S I D everywhere. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know what other like social media do we have? I keep it. I like that. One. I am Dr. Sid. Yeah, Most on like, on like Muna, they have like, like two different identities on social media. It's like media. saying, like, it's just cool to say I am 
at yeah. I am Dr. Sid everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Because I am Dr. Sid everywhere. That's right. Okay. You are. Yeah, yes, it would be are. someone else. It'd be funny if I was someone else. Yeah. I am Dr. You Sid, are Dr. Sid everywhere. On that note, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>